It's been a few months since me and my wife separated, and we've actually been talking recently. And I might be going back to her, we might be getting back together. She messaged me out of the blue asking me if I was coming back to Japan, so she must have heard me talking about going back to Japan. And then I replied with, yes, and then she asked me if I was going back to her, and I said, I'm not sure, would we be able to get back together if we wanted to? And then she said, yes, that could be a possibility. And then we were talking about things, I asked her what she was up to, and it was a bit strange because she didn't seem angry at all, and she was using the, the Japanese version of LOL at the end of sentences, so she was laughing. And she said that thanks to me, she's kind of become a little bit famous. And I asked her what she was talking about. She said, two guys recognised her. <laughs> two, two people recognised her. One guy at a bar and then another guy at her English class. They approached her and said that they recognised her as my wife. And then she said that they were talking about things like the German girl and me getting ditched in Germany. And she was, she, she said that they were laughing about it. Which was a bit strange. If it was the other way around, I don't think I would be laughing about her sleeping with another guy or trying to sleep with another guy. So I asked her, how come she's laughing about it? How come she's not angry about it anymore? And she said, well, it's been a few months since we separated and time has passed and she's not really feeling angry about the situation anymore. Which is a bit strange because she was really angry when... Um, I went to London to meet that girl, and then she started going on about suing me. So she was obviously very angry then, but now she's not angry at all, which is a bit suspicious. And then I asked her, um, didn't you promise your mum that you wouldn't see me again? She said yes. And then she said that if we did get back together, then she wouldn't tell her mum or her family, and it would be a secret, which would be a bit weird. But I guess that's a good thing, because if we got back together, then at least I don't have to worry about meeting her family anymore. I would have went to Japan sooner, but I've been waiting for my new passport to come, and it finally came. My old one expired. Got my old one about 10 years ago with my dad. He, um, he took me to the Photoshop, helped me get it all sorted out. This is the first time I ever had to get my own passport sorted out, so that was quite, quite... Excite well, it wasn't really exciting, but it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. But look, I have a nice new pass passport, it's all shiny and golden. So I have my passport, I booked my plane ticket already, I've booked my Airbnb. I won't be going straight back to her. I guess we should live separately and then maybe meet up and then see how things are between us. She said to me she doesn't know how she feels about me anymore and that we'll have to meet up again for her to be able to tell if she still feels the same way for me as she used to. And she said that something feels different between us now. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Um, we haven't really been messaging messaging each other every day. We messaged last time. Last time we messaged was about a week ago. So it's not like we've been messaging every day. She seems a bit, um, what's the word, distant? withdrawn from me. I don't really know how serious she is about us getting back together. Well, I think the fact that she hasn't handed in the divorce papers yet is kind of a good sign that she's willing to get back together with me. If she was over, finished, finished with me for good, then she would have handed in the divorce papers by now, wouldn't she? I want to talk about the reasons why I decided to leave her, because it's not quite as simple as some people might think. There were several reasons and factors that led to me making the decision that I wanted to leave her. And now that a few months have passed, I'm not sure if those, those decisions were the right decisions. I don't, I don't think that the reasons why I left her were very good reasons anymore. So number one reason was obviously my dad passing away. My dad passing away was obviously a big shock to me and it was very hard for me to accept. And I didn't want to leave my family home, didn't want to leave here. And the idea of going back to Japan and being so far away from my family and far away from here was something I wasn't really ready for. I wanted to stay here because I just felt more spiritually connected to my dad. This is like the last remnants, the last physical remnants of my dad's existence, you know, he did everything. Everything you see in this room was all done by my dad. The carpet, he laid it. 
the wall, the paint on the wall, he painted it. The skirting board, he put it up there. The curtains, the windows, the heating, the doors, every single thing, even those mirrors, he put them there for me. This closet, everything you see right here was built or done by my dad. And I just wanted to stay here, you know, so I could feel closer to him now that he's gone. This is the only place that I could be where I can feel close to him now he's gone. Even looking outside, all those plants, he planted them. These gardens, he maintained them. Those hedges, he used to trim them. And I just wanted to be here, you know, it just made me feel better inside. But now it's been a few months and I'm starting to accept the fact that he's gone. And I feel like I'm, I'm nearly ready to move on. And I feel like I'm in a stage right now where I can move away from this place. And I feel comfortable moving away from this place. I've taken baby steps to Germany and London. I think I'm ready to go back to Japan. Okay, so the number two reason why I thought it would be a good idea to leave my wife was fangirls, basically. So for most of my adult life, I've always struggled to get the attention of girls. And then last year, early last year, I kind of became YouTube famous. I know that sounds stupid. But I came, I became kind of YouTube famous and I was getting loads of attention from girls, getting loads of nudes from very attractive girls, not not these old fatties that I'm used to getting in Japan, but actual young cute girls in their 20s, slim, pretty girls. And it was great. For the first time ever in my life, I was getting attention from attractive girls and I just kind of felt frustrated that I couldn't do anything about it because I was married. And I kept thinking to myself, wouldn't it be great if I was single again? I could just meet up with these fangirls anytime I wanted to without upsetting my wife. And it would be so much fun and we'd have all this cereal and I'd finally be able to have cereal with these young, cute girls. And then I tried it out. I went to London. I met a couple of people. I went to Germany. You know the story, the Turkish girl, the German girl. And well, to be honest, let's just say that it wasn't so great. It turns out that meeting up girls just for some casual cereal isn't as fantastic as you might imagine it. Sure, it's fun for about 20 minutes, and then it's over, and then you're back to feeling empty inside, and it's not really fulfilling. And if I had to choose between all of the random encounters that I've had recently in London and Germany, if I had to choose between those and my marriage, my wife, I would choose my wife every time over those one-time serial encounters. I guess it made me think, my wife is actually a pretty good wife, and she's actually a pretty good match for me, and I actually prefer her over these encounters that I encountered. These random encounters that I had recently were just all so disappointing, not very good, kind of annoying, and to be honest, right now I don't really get that much attention in the DMs. I think a lot of girls are scared that if they do meet up with me, I'm going to say bad things about them on YouTube, which is understandable since I have a history of doing that now. I guess I guess I deserve that reputation. And quite frankly, uh, I don't really care anymore because it, it's such a pain having to go all the way up to London and then booking a hotel and spending all that money when I have my love doll. And honestly speaking, in... In a, lot, in a lot of ways, the love doll is actually better than all of those um, random encounters that I had in London and Germany. It's almost as good as the real thing, and I feel like my... Uh, I just feel like my primal man urges go away now that I have this love doll. That is a pretty good substitute for the real thing, and I wish I got it earlier. And when you have a love doll, there's no problems. There's no drama, there's no um, fighting or complaining... I'm not going to lose any subs because I said bad things about my love doll, am I? And the third reason is actually quite simple. Um, being single isn't really that great. Being alone isn't as great as I thought it would be. And I feel pretty lonely and hollow and empty compared to last year when I was married. I didn't really feel empty or hollow or lonely. So I've had to compare now to when I was married. I, I think I was a lot happier when I was married. So in conclusion, I'm going to Japan very soon and we might be getting back together. There's a good possibility of that happening. 
it's not 100% decided. Um, it's hard to tell until we actually meet up and see how things are between us. I know I've done a lot of damage to the relationship and if she doesn't feel the same way about me like she used to, then uh, I guess I guess then we will get divorced and we'll have to move on. I was a bit worried about my visa situation since obviously my spouse visa has now expired. I was a bit worried that I might not be able to get back into Japan. So I phoned up the Japanese embassy in London and I asked them, I explained my situation. And they actually said that if I wanted to renew my spouse visa, I would have to ask my wife to send me a certificate of eligibility, send it to me here, and then I take that to the embassy in London, and then they can renew my spouse visa there. But I'm not sure if if we're going to get back together again. I'm not sure if I'll be needing the spouse visa to be renewed. I think that before I get my spouse visa renewed or applied for again, I think that we should decide if we're going to stay together or not. Because if we're not going to stay together, then it would be a waste of time reapplying for the spouse visa. So I asked him if I could just re-enter Japan as a tourist again, as a visitor, as a visitor. And he said, yes, there shouldn't be any problems. He said, just because I'm married and I have an expired spouse visa doesn't mean that I can't enter Japan as a visitor anymore. So that's reassuring. I was a bit worried that I might turn up at the airport in Japan and they'll say, um, your spouse visa has expired. You can't enter. Sorry. Also, there's no time for her to, to get the certificate and then send it to me and then for me to book an appointment at the embassy and then go up to London. There's no time before... There wouldn't be enough time before my plane leaves, uh, which will be quite soon. I'm not going to tell you the exact date because I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to get attacked at the airport. So I guess I'll be seeing you all in Japan quite soon. It'll be a bit strange going back after everything that's happened, but I guess it was expected that I would eventually go back. Since, um, let's face it, England's pretty boring. I don't really feel attracted to any of the women here. And I don't really feel independent. I just prefer being in Japan more in general. And if me and my wife do get back together, hopefully... Um, hopefully I'll be able to get the spouse visa again as a tourist without any problems. Hopefully I won't have to come all the way back to England to apply for it in the Japanese embassy at London. And then have to go all the way back to Japan again. That would be a bit annoying. But I think everything will be fine. Hopefully I'll be able to change from being a tourist to a spouse again just like we did the first time.